Hello friends and welcome back to my channel JS Lab. In this video, we will see about arrays. So we know that everything in R are objects. So array is another object in R. In the previous video, we have seen uh, matrix. Matrix is a two-dimensional rectangular layout. So the elements are arranged in a two-dimensional rectangular layout format. But arrays are R data objects which can store data in more than two dimensions. So for example, if you want to create an array of dimension 2, 3, 4. Okay, I'm writing here 2, 3, 4. The meaning is that you can create four rectangular matrices each with two rows and three columns and arrays can uh, store only data types array can uh, array is created using an array function ar array function ar y array function so we'll see the more details of that one by using the help function so here is arrays array the usage is like this array you need to provide the data then what is the dimension you need to provide and you can also provide the dimension names so you can name the column row as well as the uh, different matrices we will see using an example so now we'll create an array of two vectors so i'll give v1 vector 1 of one two three then vector 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, two vectors. And oh, I didn't put C there. Now it is okay. Two vectors are created V1 and V2. Now we will take these vectors as input and create an array. Okay, I'll give the name as X. X is the array that we are going to create. We will use the array function then in place of data i'll provide the vector 1 and vector 2 vector 2 are the data then what, what is the dimension i need dimension is equal to c 3 3 2 so this will create a create two matrix matrices with each having three rows and three columns so i'll print the value so now you can see two matrices with three rows and three columns we can give names to the rows columns and matrices in the array by using the dime names parameters this one using this one with this we have not provided in the last one so we'll give that also for that we'll create two vectors of character c uh, row one row two and row three then columns we will name as there is a small correction in the previous one it should not be equal to okay, this assignment then column i'll give the value as column one column two column three then matrix i'll give the name of matrix as two matrix as there are there matrix one and matrix 2 now you can give the names so i'll take the previous assignment means x assignment now here um, this is an array function i'm going to we have introduced uh, the data as two vectors and the dimensions as two matrices of three into three row and column and there i am going to add dime names equal to the, the same case as we used in the matrices list of row column and matrix now we have given the names as well so we'll print the result x so now you can see matrix 1 and matrix 2 and in each matrix row has been named and column has also been named now like matrices you can access the array elements also so now we'll see how to access array element i'm using the same uh, matrix x okay i'm printing this is a matrix so i am going to print the third row of the second matrix of the array third row 
of the second matrix of the array. So which is the third row? It's third row. Third row of the, of the array means x. Third row, complete row. So there is no column. So, and which matrix? Second matrix. Okay. So I'll. So this is the three six nine. Uh, second. This is second matrix. In second matrix, third row three six nine. Okay. So three represents row. And here you have put, you have entered nothing. That means entire row. And two means the second matrix. Now if you want to uh, if you want to uh, print the entire second row second column of first matrix you can see four five six this is matrix one this is the entire column four five and six four five six so for that row nothing is entered then two comma one so that means second column entire second column of the first matrix now print the element in the first row third column of the first matrix for that you can use 1 3 1 first row third column of first matrix that means if you put enter you'll get 7 first row third column of the first matrix so that is 7 if you want to print the entire second matrix then x comma comma so row and column you are not providing that means the entire matrix which matrix second matrix so the entire second matrix is uh, printed out you can use the print command as well okay print x comma 2 the same thing will happen the, it will print the output so this is how the elements of an array are accessed now we will see how to manipulate array elements so an array is made up of matrices in multiple dimensions so operations on elements of arrays are carried out by accessing elements of the matrix so by accessing elements of the matrix you can do some various operations so for that i'm creating another two vectors v3 for example 9 1 0 and v4 7 4 6 random just i'm taking random numbers 3 5 7 2 6 9 i'm taking some random numbers okay so i'm going to create a new array so why i'm going to create new array data v3 and v4 v3 v4 then dimension to see again 3 comma 3 comma 2 2 matrix of uh, 3 into 3 row and column okay. i'll print the y so this is y first matrix and second matrix now i am going to create matrices from these arrays so i'm going to create matrix 1 as array you know, from x from x i am going to access the second matrix means 2 and m2 that is a matrix 2 as from y i am going to access the matrix 2 i'll print out matrix 1 so matrix 1 this is the matrix 2 in the array 1 and m2 is the matrix 2 in the array 2 now i am going to add these two add equal to m1 plus m2 so it will show the result so what we have done is we we had one array of 3 into 3 into 2 matrix and another array of 3 row 3 columns 2 matrix and we have accessed the second matrix in the first element the uh, first array and second matrix in the second element and we have added that so we can manipulate the array elements that means you can access the array elements and you can do some operations now we'll do calculations across array element using apply function we can do calculations across the elements in an array using apply function so first we will see apply function so what is apply function we will go to the help apply apply function so this is the apply function so it returns a vector or array of list obtained by applying a function to margins of an array or matrix 
this is the syntax so you can say apply that's a function name x margin and function okay you can see that x is an array x is the array that we are going to uh, give us the input and margin it is the name of the data set to be used for the calculation okay so for for example you can put c1 if you put c1 it indicates the rows if you put c2 it indicates the column if you put c1 2 it indicates rows and columns so we'll use the uh, same function here and we'll do the apply function okay. so i am going to add okay some i'll give the name as sum okay i'll give the name as sum sum or i'll print the uh, x vector so i'm going to use the array x that we have already created okay so matrix 1 and matrix 2 is there so what i'll do is i'll sum 1 equal to apply first uh, first argument is x that is the array array data then margin c1 that i'm going to provide it as the rows and function and the last one i did in uh, fun means function so which function you that uh, which operation that you need to carry out here i am going to carry out the sum so put enter so you can see sum one if i print sum one it okay now you can see first row if you take one plus four five five plus seven twelve thirteen thirteen plus four seventeen seventeen plus seven twenty four so that is the sum of the first row you can see the 24 here now 2 plus 5 plus 8 then 2 plus 5 plus 8 you will get 30 so that is the sum of the rows across all the elements in the matrix now if i modify the uh, that's the result then if i modify the uh, that one to 2 see 2 now you check sum 1 it will be the sum of the columns across all the matrices so you can see 1 plus 2 plus 3 and 1 plus 2 plus 3 same thing you can apply for the i will take this as sum 2 apply y as the data and margin c1 function the same for sum so you'll get sum 2 as this one okay i will present y as well okay so we have i think you now you got the so 9 plus 7 16 16 plus 3 19 and 19 plus 2 21 30 37 so there's a sum across all the elements in the second array matrices in the second array likewise you will get sum of the second rows as 21 and sum of the third rows as 28 so this is all about arrays so in this video we have seen what are arrays and how to in this video we have seen how arrays are introduced in the r programming and how to assign the values how to give the values in the arrays how to give uh, the dimensions how to give the dimension names how to access the elements in an array how to manipulate the elements in an array with several operations and how to do operations in the elements of the array using apply function more about our objects you will see in the coming videos if you have any comments or suggestions please comment in the comment section so if you like my channel please subscribe my channel for more videos thank you bye